the rule of 445 case management no later than 15 days prior to the case management conference each party must file a case management statement as detailed in california rules of court rule 372 so this form here i have i'm filling it out the best i can and i'm a little late because of um having to get a certification of record and waiting on that before I could come up. So that's my excuse for not having it filed uh, 15 days before court. Plus there's um, President's Day vacation time. Um, so I will have to wait. But anyways, at least I did the best I could. Um, you have to put your causes of action, discrimination, gross, gross negligence, intentional misconduct, emotional distress are all causes of action. This is just for disability. Um, you have to name your damages. I think they have to back pay me uh, about 48000 I'm not really sure. Um, Non-jury trial, but, you know, um, they may uh, throw it into a trial, um, which is uh, all right, but I'm not going to have the money and uh, emotional state to be able to uh, uh, do another uh, jury trial after suing five um, law firms um, that's uh, <laughs> that'll put you in the boiling water like a frog um, so uh, basically you fill this out the ones that don't have to be filled out um, you you go ahead and just uh, skip it and um, if you don't know any of the vocabulary words just look them up in the black law dictionary or even online um, some discovery this is the most important part of being an attorney or uh, being in pro per is trying to get subpoenas out and uh, getting answers and compelling the defense to go to court and answer and uh, the judges you know they, they want you to be real um, specific of what you want and I did I told him what I wanted on that legal malpractice and and even still he got mad because I used uh, case law from the internet but whatever um, I have enough evidence now so that's that form and uh, basically it was just gonna go make sure you serve this with the proof of service and file it at the court and get it stamped 